Hello, this is Mrs. Landberg, and this is rounding whole numbers. This is lesson three. Students should complete pages 43, 44, 45, and 46 before you watch this video. You should not watch this video unless you have already completed pages 43 through 46 in your math book. I'm going to be going over the answers to those problems, but before you, before you watch this video, you need to have tried it on your own, because it is not going to help you if you've not tried it on your own. So um, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time going over these, but um, we are going to go over them. Okay. Number one, Smallville has 12,548 people registered to vote. The, to the nearest thousand, how many people are registered to vote? Show your work. Okay, what is this problem about? It's about people registered to vote. What information is important? Um, it's important to know that they have 12,548 people. It's also important to know that we are rounding to the thousand. What am I trying to find out? I'm trying to find out how many people are registered to vote. And can I draw a model? Yes, I can draw a model because I can draw a place value chart, which also helps me show my work. So I'm going to draw my place value chart. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Okay, now I'm going to put my number into my place value chart. 12,548 people. Next, it's asking me what number I'm rounding to. I am rounding to the nearest thousands place. So I'm going to underline the thousands place. Then I'm going to look next door. A five tells its neighbor to go up. So the two becomes a three. All the digits behind it become zeros. And the digit in front stays the same. Now it's not just 13,000, it's 13,000 people. And that's how many people are registered, people registered to vote. Okay, now, oh, kind of cut it off there. 13,000 people registered to vote, All right? You turn to page 44. Page 44. A company makes wooden golf tees. One year they make 380,285 tees. To the nearest thousand, how many tees do they make? Show your work. Okay, so I'm going to get my note here. What is this problem about? If I ignore the number, this is about um, a company that's making wooden golf tees. Okay. What information is important? Um, well, it's important to know 380,285 T's were made in one year. And then it's also important to know that we're rounding to the 10,000. And something I didn't circle last time but is important, show your work, okay? What am I trying to find out? I am trying to find out how many T's do they make? Okay, rounded to the 10,000. Can I draw a model to help me solve this problem? Yes. So I'm going to draw my model here. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Now I'm going to put my number into my chart. 380,285, and don't forget my comma. Now, my next question is, I'm trying to round this, and my problem tells me to round it to the 10,000th place. So I'm going to underline the digit that's in the 10,000th place. I'm going to look next door at his neighbor, and his neighbor says, you get to stay the same. So I draw a line to say, stay the same. So the eight just comes down, every digit behind becomes a zero, and the digits in front stay the same. 
Now it's not just 380,000, it's 380,000 T's is your answer. Okay, number three. A website streams 264,398 movies to its customers one year. To the nearest 10, how many movies does the website stream? Okay, so I'm, late, I'm rounding to the nearest 10. So I'm going to underline my 10. Look next door at the 8. 8 says, hey neighbor, go up. So that 9, what happens to 9 after it goes up? It becomes a 10, so it's almost like you have to carry, when this becomes a 10, you have to carry your one over, and the nine actually becomes a zero because you're carrying over that group of 10. So we're gonna have two changes here. The three is gonna become a four. The nine will become a zero because we grouped that 10. The numbers behind become zeros, and then the rest of the numbers in front stay the same. So it ends up being 264,400, which is answer C. Okay. Ellen chose C as the correct answer. Explain how she got her answer. Well, we kind of just talked about that. She got C as her correct answer because when 9 rounds, so when 9 rounds up, it becomes 10, so the 1 is regrouped to the next place value, and that is your answer. Okay, now we're going to move on to page 45, number 4. The distance four hot air balloons travel are listed below. We've got the four distances here. Leah rounds the distances the balloons travel to the nearest 10, which is important. Which distance does not round to 6,550 kilometers? Not is important and 6,550 is important. So I'm going to look at each one and round it to the nearest 10. I'm going to do that for each one of these problems just to be on the safe side. So I'm looking at the nearest 10. 5 is in the 10's place. I look at the 9. 9 says go up and it becomes a 6. The numbers behind become zeros. This is a 5 and the 6 stays the same. So does 6,560 the same as 6,550? No, so it's so balloon A does not round to that. Balloon B, 10's place is a four. Look next door at seven. Seven says go up, so that four becomes a five, and that seven becomes a zero. Everything in front stays the same. 6,550, yep, that one's good. Balloon C, we're looking at the four's place, rounding next door from five. Five says go up, so that four becomes a five, it becomes a zero and everything in front stays the same. Does that match? Yes, it does. And our last one, 6,553. I'm looking at the five. The three says stay the same, so it stays as a five. The three becomes a zero and the numbers in front stay the same. So does that one work? Yes, it does. So it says which distance does not round to the 6,550 kilometers? And that would be this one right here, which is 6,559, which is balloon A and answer A. Number five, Phoebe's Bait and Tackle sells 102,278 live worms one month. To the nearest thousand, how many worms does Phoebe's Bait and Tackle sell that month? Okay, what is this problem about? It's about... Um, how many worms Phoebe's Bait and Tackle sell? How many live worms they sell in a month? What information is important? 102,278 live worms. And then to the nearest thousand is also important. What am I trying to find out? I'm trying to find out how many worms does Phoebe's Bait and Tackle sell that month? And can I draw a model? And yes, I can. I'm going to do a model a little bit different this time. 
I'm just going to write it like this, and then I'm going to use my place value methods to solve for this. So I'm rounding to the nearest thousand, so I underline my thousands place. I look next door at his neighbor, and his neighbor two says, you can stay the same. So two stays, every digit behind becomes a zero, and the ones in front stay the same. So it's 102,000 live worms is what my answer is. So I look over here, and B is my answer. Okay, number six. Determine whether each number is rounded to the nearest hundred or the nearest thousand to make the new number. Okay, so if I look at 1445, which place value is the first digit that's other than a zero in the new number? It's the fours place. So since that fours place is in the hundreds place, that means it's rounded to the nearest hundreds. Now I'm looking over here. Which spot is that place value rounded to the first number that's not a zero? It's right here, which is in the thousands place. So this number is, is rounded to the thousands. Down here, which spot is the first number that's not a zero. It's actually the ten thousandths place, but is that one of our options? No. So let's take a look at this number. Look at what's in the thousandths place in this number. It's a nine. When we know that nine, when it gets rounded, when it gets rounded up by a six, it goes to the next one and it regroups. So that two would become a three and it would become a zero and everything behind it would become a zero. So they actually did round to the nearest thousands place. It just made that number bump up. And our last one down here, the first number that's not a zero is in the hundreds place, so it's rounded to the nearest hundreds. Okay, and our last page, page 46. Okay. A is an unknown number. When you round A to the nearest thousand, you get 21,000. When you round A to the nearest hundred, you get 20,500. Write A in the box to show that its location on the number line. So it looks like here this would be 20,100, 20,200, 20,300, 20,400. So it says when we're rounding to the thousands place, we get 21,000. That means it has to be from here or that way if we get 21,000, right? Because if it was from this spot right bless or here, then it would be 20,000. So we know it cannot be these two boxes because it would be 20,000 if it was rounded to the nearest thousand. When A rounds to the nearest hundred, you get 20,500. Well, this is 20,500. This is 20,600, 20,700, 20,800. So this one would round to 20,800 because that's where it's closest to. So it can't be that one. That leaves this as our only option. So A is the answer there. Number eight, round 5,563 to the nearest thousand, to the nearest hundred, and to the nearest ten. Suppose you can pay a $5,563 bill with a rounded amount. Which place value would you round to? Suppose you win a $5,563 prize and you can choose a rounded amount. Which place value would you round to? This question has a lot of information in it. So first, let's start with this first one. Round 5,563 to the nearest thousand. Okay, if I look at five, five says go up. So to the nearest thousand would be 6,000. So that's answer one. Then it says to the nearest hundred. So I'm going to put a one here. To my nearest hundred, I look at the number in the hundreds place. It's a five. Let me turn my lights back on. The six tells the, okay. The six tells the five to go up. So it becomes a six. The numbers behind become zeros and the number in front stays the same. So that's answer two. And to the nearest 10. So that's answer three. 
If I look at my six in the tens place, three says stay the same. So six stays, the three becomes a zero, and the fives in front stay the same. Okay, we've got the first part done. Suppose you can pay a $5,563 bill with a rounded amount. Which place value would you round to? Okay, Suppo which place value would we want to round to if we're paying with a $5,563 bill? Hmm, if we do pay with 6,000, then that's gonna, like, they're gonna have to give us a lot of change back, but we can't do that because we have to round. If we do 5,600, then that's just gonna be a little bit above, but if we do 5,560, that's not gonna be enough money. So on question four, our answer would be this place, which was our hundreds place. So question four is hundreds place. Suppose you win a $5,563 prize and you can choose a rounded amount. Which place value would you round to? Well, if we can choose a rounded amount, we want the most possible, right? And if we're gonna go with the most possible, that's gonna be one right here. So what place value, this is our answer five, and our answer five is going to be rounded to the nearest thousand. So that was a five part question. That's a difficult one. Great job. Okay. All right. And the last one, everyone is going to have a different answer on this because you can choose any five numbers and round them to a six digit number. You just want to make sure that the number that is in the very front of your five numbers is a nine. So you should have nine, one, two, three, four, five. You should have a nine here. And then the number that's going to be right here, um, it's going to have to be, yeah. So if we're rounding to, because we're rounding to a six-digit number, which would be here, but it doesn't exist yet. So we look at this, because if we round it, that would become a one. So this digit has to be a nine, and any of these numbers can be whatever you would like for them to be. That's it. Once you have watched all three of these videos and completed this page, if you feel like you did okay, you are ready to complete the practice assignment and um, then move on to the graded assignment.